gonna go ahead and start. And now we're gonna do the new episode. For Terran Gambit, it's Fujiwara Effect. Under the command of the Terran Emperor, the other is traveling to Earth to Death Blue, the Alliance Knight. So, same old, same old. Great, well, thank you for watching regardless. All right, so the let's get started. To Earth are grim. Emperor Crusher and the other are closing in on the Sol system. They will no doubt strike a death blow to the very heart of the Federation unless a means to defeat them can be found. We will not stand idly by while the Federation falls. Make no minimize mistake. this chat too, just if so we they have die, more pretty screen. It will only be a matter of time before the enemy comes to eradicate new Romulus as well. So, we will stand with the Federation and fight to the last at their side. Report to the Sol system, and may the elements preserve us all. Alright, and then we get her lab coat, of course we do. And some plasma weapons. That'll be interesting to check out, especially since I've got plasma. I think, uh, what's her name? Gaddon McBates? Is that how you pronounce her name? I think she's doing a pretty good job, especially since this is probably her first time doing any voice work. Alrighty. Let us get started. I like the name, too, the Fujiwara effect. Ah, there it is. I was talking about that. This is going to be in the lockbox. I've heard from, like, McStew, Stew1473, I think that's his name, and a couple others were saying it's a really good Galaxy Quest ship, and it unlocks the skins for all the others. So that would be great. When two storms collide, oh, that's cool. That makes sense when, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have an other Vigor showdown like they suggested, and I feel like good Wesley Crusher is probably gonna show up. They've paid for the actor; they might as well. So, so this is cool. This is from that trailer we saw. There's the Enterprise. Oh, I don't see my ship. That would have been a cool little effect, but this has got to be all the faction leaders. Let's check in real quick, see if I see any your face. Ah. Good morning. I realize the risk you've all taken in being here. Stand at our side in this dark hour. On behalf of Starfleet and the Federation, thank you. The interstellar entity known as the Other is approaching this system as we speak. Conventional methods of engagement have proven futile against the entity, but we have been able to limit the raiding conducted by the Terran fleets accompanying them. They never really showed him opening a portal to come to us. We just kind of knew it was coming, and some people started getting digitized. Huh. Oh well. Under the guidance of the Terran Emperor, the other will erase Earth from existence in a matter of hours. Once that happens, they will continue their reign of terror, eliminating the core worlds of every Alliance faction, and anyone else brave enough to stand against them. The time to act, to make a stand, is now. I realize the odds are Ooh, against us. my favorite, the Kittimer We're ship. facing an enemy with a power level unheard of. But there is still hope. We have a plan. A plan, Admiral? How do you intend to defeat a being of godlike power? We have established contact with someone who knows the Emperor well. We believe they hold the key to victory in this conflict. We're ready. Energize. Admiral Quinn is correct. I know the Emperor very well. Huh. After all, I am his mother. There have been concerns about my son in the Empire for some time. It was decided that a contingency plan was required. In case he ever lost control. 
that time has come. For years, I've been working on a means to disrupt his great powers. We need to strike before he is fully merged with that thing. Before he loses the last elements of his humanity. Before he is no longer my son. Okay. I'm going to take a minute here just to kind of check everybody out. I like they brought everybody together, all the main characters. Oh, hey! They even got from Voyager. That's cool. Got them. Cool. I like that. They brought all of the cool main characters back. You look like a person with something on their mind. What can I do for you? Well, let's start with your wool in this upcoming operation. Operation? Interesting choice of words. As a surgeon, I'd say that what we're about to do is very much like an operation on a very specific patient. Only in this case, if we're successful, we'll be saving our lives. The patient here being your son, Aaron Emperor. Gosh, you changed your face. Strange. That's right. I've developed a countermeasure to his abilities. It utilizes a variable phase shift delivery system. One that should evade any detection tech or personal defenses he might have in place. And then? I'll deploy a cluster of nanotech into his nervous system. It's based on tech provided by our Marshal Janeway. I understand she acquired it from a rather advanced group of cyborgs in the Delta Quadrant. Based on my research, it'll disrupt the parts of Wesley's brain that allow him to use his powers. He'll be human again, and vulnerable to attack. But... Their problem? The countermeasure must be deployed at short range. We'll need to get to him at the core of the other to pull this off. Unfortunately, they have fortified their defense systems. Until we can safely breach those defenses and reach the core, this conversation is moot. I'll work it on. You better work fast. My son might be taking his time getting here, but he won't take forever. If you don't have something by the time he arrives, well, I'm told the digitization process is quick and painless. A rather humane method of execution, all things considered. Well, let's hope it does come to that then. Alright, got our optional. The Federation has stood with the Romulan people many times. When the homeworld was lost, they were there to help. When we found a new home, they were there as well. New Romulus has not forgotten. Today, we stand ready to honor our alliance and defend the Earth from this new menace. And let's guide you. I believe... Well then, Oop. we've heard all the speeches, now it's time to get to work. No. Are you ready to begin the operation? I still have to talk to all the other characters. If I remember correctly, she's supposed to be the daughter of a, a character from one episode. He was like a Romulan who was defecting to try and prevent a Romulan invasion. And it turns out to all just been an elaborate psyops. And so he commits suicide knowing that they were just doing it as a test and he failed. I've been in a lot of battles in my time, far more than I'd like if I'm honest. I prefer the role of explorer over that of a warrior. But when it comes down to the survival of the Federation, I'll take up that mantle without hesitation. The crew of the Enterprise will fight to their final breath to save as many lives as possible today. Count on it. Good luck out there, Captain. He's the captain of the Enterprise. You can kind of figure out who's who just by who we talk to. Enterprise, that's the flagship of Klingons. That's that woman who we just talked to. That's her ship. Kittimer, Alliance ship, and then... What do we call the Jim Hadar? Because I always call him the Jim Hadar. Dominion. 
The Federation stood with the Empire over Kronos when the Undine sent their planet killer to destroy the homeworld. We fought at their side against the Iconians, and we will fight at their side against the other and the Terrans. It will be a glorious battle. Today is a good day to die. Glory to you and your house. Kapla! We really have to get that Deep Space Nine Marta actor to get it. In our time of utmost need, the Federation came to the Dominion's aid against the Herc. The Founders will never forget this brave act. Today, in the spirit of that act, we stand ready to defend the Federation's capital world. Today, the credo of the Jem'Hadar is especially profound. For today, victory is life for us all. Agreed. And he is Captain... Oh, look, we have a... Oh, that's got to be intelligence for the Kittimer. Interesting. That's one of my favorite ships. I'm going to just run real quick and then we'll get started. But that's probably my favorite ship out of STO so far. Besides... No, this is definitely it. The Kittimer class ship. I wasn't playing when that ship came out. So that's one of the few things where like, I would pay the anniversary prices when it comes on sale. Yeah. Well then, we've heard all the speeches, now it's time to get to work. Are you ready to begin the operation? Let's rock and roll. to load. I've already made my progress today. This is supposed to be like the updated Fajir uh, model they did whenever they did a director's Long-range sensors have picked up the other at the edge of the system. They're on a direct course to Jupiter. The Jupiter station has a unique holographic defense system in place, but it'll only last so long against the other and their Terran escorts. I'd like you to deliver a system upgrade module to the station to aid with their defense. Very well. The Lisset will be leading a task force at Mars. Evacuation has already begun, but they'll need all the time you can buy them at Jupiter. Enterprise will be here, on standby, in case of emergency. Once the evacuations are completed, Jupiter and Mars, you're to fall back to Earth and join the remaining defense fleets. Understood. All hands go to red alert. Repeat, all hands, red alert. Clutch my fighters. Fleet. Prepare for battle. Kapla! This is Durak. It's time. Best speed to Mars. Good luck out there. The other isn't alone. They're bringing a large Terran invasion force along for the ride. I expect they'll do their best to loot and pillage in the wake of the other's destruction. Do what you can to stop that. But remember, saving lives comes first. Get as many people out of Jupiter as you can. You will. I don't doubt it. Better get moving. Captain Corrin can be a little rough when people are late to a battle. Give me a second, I want to take a photo. Well. Alright. Good luck out there. I don't doubt it. God, my ship looks so cool. You have arrived. Good. The enemy is approaching at high speed. We have little time to prepare for battle. Deliver the defense upgrade to Jupiter Station at once. After that, evacuation efforts will commence. Defend the station and the evac ships when that happens. Very well. Fight with honor. Alright, let's see. Out a little. Power energy field detected. They're here. Holy cow, that thing. Terran ships warping in near projector station Alpha. 
Sounds like trouble. For me. So you'll have to bear with me. Another wave at projector station Gamma. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh no. Come on, reverse. Reverse. Work it, work it, turn it around, flip it and reverse it, as they say. If we fail, the briefings are working, but to see the power of the first hand is disturbing. In the moments we lost the Vortis View, Jupiter Station, even Jupiter itself. Wow. Those were some named characters on the Vortis. That's a big deal. The briefings are the Terran. All back. The battle at Jupiter Station barely slowed the invaders down. The other could attack here at any moment. You would be Join grand. us in transporting civilians from Mars and delivering them to the evacuation fleet in orbit. We'll conduct evac operations as long as we're able and protect the transports from Terran attack. Understood. Yeah, this is. You can hear that sound to let you know he's coming close, just like in the show. Oh, there it is. You can hear it too. <laughs> I didn't look behind me. Got our crews. Gonna pop it still. ship there. Four Terran ships inbound. Keep picking up those refugees.
Your shield's failing. Interesting. I am. Target's shield has failed. Your shield's failing. She certainly is not the most maneuverable thing in the sky, is she? Good thing we're not on a timer. Oh, God. <laughs> Give me a minute here, folks. The problem with these big ships is it's, what are they called, the inertia? So even though I hit tell it to stop, it's still moving in space. So that's part of the difference between this thing. It is big and lumbering, but it's, it's supposed to have a lot of HP, a lot of weapon slots and stuff. As opposed to like the escorts that'll be a lot smaller and more mobile. Makes sense. I swear, sometimes I'll play him and he be slower than normal. Now have a much higher engine level. You didn't think I missed this part, did you? Bizarre. Got digitized. Okay. I think they're gonna have to have them undigitize them, however you pronounce it. You can't have all these planets and stuff dying. And just like that, Mars has fallen. Destruction and battle. A fitting end for a world named after a god of war. Did what we could. The Lisette went out fighting. It'd be suicide if we did the same. It's time to retreat to Earth while you're still able. This might be our last stand. The science teams are still working on a way to reach the core of the other, but none of their efforts have been successful. We've transported as many as we can to safety, but at this point, a full evacuation is impossible. We'll buy the evac as much time as we can. Glad to hear it. Every minute means more lives saved. Before you go, there's something I'd like to say. We're with you to the end. If we don't make it out of this, well... It's been an honor. The honor is mine, Captain. Good luck. Ooh, Enterprise fleet, defend Earth at all costs. Buy as much time for evacuation as you can. Sean out. I get the party go. started. Once more, under the breach.
just melt. Shields at maximum. All hands, brace for impact. It will not be enough. Today is a good day to die. Jure, just in time. Tactical report. What just happened, sir? It, there's another one. It's Beecher. Beecher. That's how we pronounce it. Sorry about that. That's on me. Engine power. BJ is keeping the other engaged in battle. With my aid, you will now be able to breach their defenses and enter the interior of the other. At last. The sooner we make it to West and deploy the countermeasure, the better. Every minute we delay gives that mind of his time to figure out what we're up to and how to stop us. So, are you ready? Let's do it. I'd be disappointed if good Wesley Crusher doesn't show up. All right, we made it in, but we won't be here for long if we don't take out some of the other's critical systems. Breed. Let's work with Ilea to isolate a number of those systems. We'll divide and conquer here. You and the Defiant will tackle one set of targets, while Sean and I will handle the others. Care to place a wager on which group finishes first? Stay focused. We've got work All to right, do. All right, let's get this over with. This thing looks Jimmy. cool, though. Jimmy up with my doppelganger. Uh, this ought to be interesting. Oh, Stay well. sharp. They're liable to throw everything they have at us. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from the Emperor and his lackey. Have your ships carry those notches in the back of They look and The notches are for different engine components. This enables them to reduce energy generation and flow. Disrupting the other powers of the planet for time. First six nozzles disabled, moving to the next set. That didn't take much. Encountering quite a bit of resistance down here. Nothing we can't handle, though. Huh. They did a good job of capturing the scope. I remember watching something as they came up with this idea, and then they realized that to put it in a film, and they're like, oh god, and there was just Scan no that way they could. Section. They could be sad. It is used to generate plasma bolts. Your weapons are not strong enough to damage. Oh, 
patriotism is dying for the Empire, not the Emperor. What are those large pylons? This is something related to the plasma bolts that the other others. They are part of the boat launcher system. Disable them, and the other will not be able to fire efficiently. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. Taking some heavy fire here, Lita. I guess that wasn't the right one. Worry about the virus, Captain. I'll worry about the ships. Okay, I have to move the head in the wrong direction. What can you tell us about the students? Huh! Those things are emitting radio. Not exactly a modern sound system. Almost done. Hopefully. Got a couple more. There we go. We've neutralized their targeting systems. Keep moving. Sean, your damage output is a little little. Want the pointer? We're doing fine. Try not to fry your power grid showing off to the others. Huh. Live and die for the Emperor. Terror. The Emperor lost his position. Once, I will die for it. No more. Turn, girl, turn. Captain Sean of USS Enterprise. Stand down. This isn't a fight you'll win. <laughs> Please, tell me you don't think they'll surrender. Stranger things have happened. We're fighting together for one. Those nodules below are definitely giving us some energy. They're not just going to a force field over the mouth of the vessel. Disable their shields, then destroy them. Moving to engage the shield generator. Acknowledge. Once they're down, we'll be to the rendezvous.
Of my best. Of course. And you should know. I always played the game, Captain. Always. Doesn't help that she's absolutely insane. Approaching rendezvous coordinates now. Allied ships on sensors. One day I'll have to figure out how to minimize all the UI and know the key code for that or the shortcut, whatever you Well, call it. here's where it gets really interesting. That Time to me. enter the belly of the beast. I haven't seen the uh, director's cut or whatever that's most recently came out, so I haven't seen designs that have been in the pictures. Oh look, that's the anniversary ship we get. Look, that ship. It's a smaller version of the other. Smaller, yes. But also deadly. It's in our way. Let's do something about that so we can move on. Jeez. Nice shooting, everyone. The Inquisitor and I will cover you out here. The rest is up to you. I just whipped through that thing. I'm sorry, I don't mean not to my own horn here. I'm just sometimes I'm amazed when I pop cooldowns and this how I just one shot so many things. We made it. I can't help but feel like we're being toyed with. Wesley allowed us to come this far, like a cat playing with its prey. Perhaps, but we can't turn back now. True. Let's hope there's still enough of Wesley that's human in there, so that he can be dealt with. I see no reason to wait, do you? Let's beam down and get this over with. Okay. There he is. I knew I had one. Got a little nasty weather in Louisiana today. Can't say I'm thrilled to be in here again. The list of people who have come here and survived to tell the tale is pretty short. Naturally, my name's on the top of that list. A dubious honor, to be sure. Focus. Right. We'll need to make our way to the core area, across a number of artificial islands, like this one. Expect attacks from security drones. And whatever else the Emperor might have dreamed up since last time I was here. Understood. Ready weapons and move out. At my triple for its bluff. Let's go examine it. There you are, Wesley. Another strong son of the Empire, Roger. Congratulations. Thank you. 
He's going to do great things one day. I have the results of the med scans you requested as well. Hmm. His neural capacity and cognitive ability, they're amazing. <laughs> you realize we must report these findings to Section 31, yes? Oh, she's no. about to die. Unless you want your affair with the Vulcan exposed as well. No, I, I do not, Doctor. Then we have an understanding. You're dismissed. Don't you worry, Wesley. I won't allow my son to be a lab rat, dissected by some Section 31 butcher. I'll do everything I can to protect you. Always. What? What are you doing? What the hell was that? Is it some colony posting? Shoot first. Answers later. Oh. I think that projection was from one of Wesley's early memories, perhaps the earliest. I remember it like it was yesterday. The moment I knew Wesley was special, even as an infant. It was also the moment I knew I had to keep his gifts a secret. I'm not sure. sure that. It could be his subconscious at work, going over pivotal events. I think that project I'm not sure. It could be his subconscious at work, going over pivotal events in his life before now. He might be using them as an anchor to avoid losing his sense of self, his identity. See any details that could help us, Doctor, let us know. So should so different from how it looks earlier or in the promotion material for some reason. It's giving me uncanny valley syndrome or whatever they call it. Things have taken a turn for the strange around here. <laughs> and that's saying something. War memory. I'm detecting another memory engram on this album. I can't help but wonder. Angelico's asked me to serve on the Enterprise, and I've accepted the offer. The new flagship? That's great, Mom. He assured me that you'll be allowed on board, but you'll need to maintain your ruse, son. What? No! Mom, I'm tired of hiding what I can do. Wes, if Jellico knew about your gifts, he'd exploit them. And if he saw you as a threat, he'd have you killed. You need to be patient, son. Jellico is weak. It won't be long until he's replaced. <sighs> yes. You're right, of course. Soon, you'll be able to show the Empire what you're made of, son. Your future, our future, will be limitless. <laughs> Stay out of my mind! He didn't like that. Well, someone told you. Ow. Oh, get away from that. And Wesley. Survived? How? Captain Jellico made an enemy of Jean-Luc Picard. 
few do that and live to tell the tale, and he was not one of the few. Once Jellico was out of the way, Wes and I were able to join Picard and serve the Empire with distinct... Why does it keep doing that? I don't know what key I bumped, but it closed that conversation. At least it was at the end. Alright, I'll just have to take my hands off the keyboard next time. Got a little ways to go His there. memories we're finding could be some attempt at communication. But why? There's one here, too. Ready for another trip down memory lane? Wesley! How? You were on the Enterprise in deep space, and now you're here? On Terra? Something's happened, Mom. Something incredible. Tell me, what happened? We found something, Mom. Or rather, someone. <laughs> A being of great power. Power that belongs to me now. What kind of power exactly? Power over time and space. The power to travel great distances in the blink of an eye and more. This is the moment you've been waiting for, son. Not even the Emperor can stand against such power. Yeah, about that. I think the Emperor has been sitting in my chair long enough, don't you? It's time to do something about that. Ah! I will end you for this! Getting dicey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, yes. The day West decided to take the Imperial throne for himself. I remember it well. With the powers he took from the Traveler, he was practically unstoppable. He made surgical strikes throughout the upper echelons of the Empire. One by one, he eliminated all of the Emperor's key allies. No one could stop him. Not even the Emperor. Another pivotal moment for him. And you. Very much so. At the time, I was filled with pride and ambition. To be the mother of the Emperor, to have that level of power and influence, it was a little intoxicating, to be honest. It wasn't until later that I realized what that level of power could do to a person. Indeed. Especially in the Mirror Universe. I think the other is trying to tell us something. It's important. Could be a little clearer. These visions are getting on my nerves. Not every problem is solved with a phaser and a smirk, Lita. Thank you for seeing me, Majesty. Mom, it's me. No need for formalities. As you wish. Oh, I've seen that look before. That's the Sun Me Talk look. Okay. What's that here? Wes, this new plan of yours. What about it? It's reckless. You've gone too far this time. 
can. And what what if I have? What what that? You are powerful, son, but you're not invincible. There are still ways to kill you. Is that a threat I'm hearing? Come on. This is Terra, son. No one is above the Empire. Not even the Emperor. I am the Empire, mother. Planets burn at my command. No one is above me. No one. Perhaps you need some time alone to realize this. Guards, escort my mother to the Inquisitor. Don't do this, son. Enough. Take her away now. Get out of my head! Now! everything up. To this day, I'm surprised he didn't kill me for that. He's killed people for a lot less, believe me. Steady at your anniversary. He might regret that soon. By that point, he'd made enough people in high places nervous. Nervous enough to facilitate my research, even in prison. And now, we have the countermeasure, which could lead to his death. As a doctor and his mother, that's something I don't want to happen. I want to bring him back from all this, save his life, not end it. Do what we can. I understand. Ending his life might be necessary, but as a former leader of the Empire once said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, or the one. In the end, I'll do what I have to do. You have my word. Like the one piece of Terran. As a throwback, uh, in the episode of the original series where they had the mirror universe, Spock and Mirror Spock, and I think they mind meld together, and so he learns all about that Vulcan knowledge, and he, on Spock's suggestion, because the Emperor tries to make them peaceful, which leads to the coalition like Klingons, Cardassians, Bajorans, and some other aliens conquer them which is what the mirror timeline picks up back in deep space nine and then they win and they've already built back up and started conquering everybody but the mirror universe timeline of now in the game if that made any sense looks like this leads to the center and it's a long time to stretch our legs I heard what you said back there. Are you sure you can end it if it comes down to that? I gave my word. That should be enough for you, Admiral. If he's gone too far to save, I'll do it. I'll do my duty as a Terran officer and as a mother. I will summon nodes from Vija to disrupt the connection between the Emperor and the other. You will need to activate them when they arrive. Understood. Doctor, is the counter mission ready? It's ready. Once we've separated Wesley from the other, we'll need to introduce the countermeasure. There's a problem, however. That? I'm reading an unusually high energy field in here. 12th power level. The countermeasure will fail in that environment. Those pylons are giving me an idea, though. We may be able to utilize them to reduce the power level and enable the countermeasure successful. Better mind, Doctor. Let's get to it. There he is. Let's do this.
No. Wesley. Are we too late? Are you too far gone to save? You came here to save me. Me! You're the only people here that need saving. Uh -oh. I'm impressed you made it this far, Mom. Well done. Um, seriously though, do you really think you're going to talk me out of this? <laughs> we'll do what we have to. Talking step one, though. It's the first and last step for you. Once I've digitized Beecher, I'll do the same to that pathetic reflection of Kara out there. But you and your friends won't be around to see that. This is just another chapter in the book of my life, but for you, this is your grand finale, and it's not going to be a happy ending, I assure you. Alright, well, step two then. We must disrupt the merging of the Emperor and the other. I don't want to help. I'm nervous. I know you think you're doing the right thing here, but you really aren't. You need to stop this, Wesley, while you still can. I'm the one who needs the necessary thing. Oh, well that was well. Any other connections? Oh no, I hope these things just, just get fucked out. Transmitting counter measure data to you now. Upload the data at each tower. If I'm right, the other will deploy the counter measure and remove Wesley's powers. You stopped the merge, but you're still no match. No match at all. All I have to do is wipe you out. 
and start the merge again. Easy. Then, count all the time I need to do what must be done. What? Oh, I think. I'm an idiot. So, don't roll into it. He's you. trapped the doctor in a time bubble. Get her out of there! Wesley's defenses are weakened. There's no choice. Open fire! That's more like it! more countermeasure data. This isn't too bad. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is he gonna... They have some bad issues. Can't move. I need help. Spare your life, Mom, but I won't let you interfere in your fight. He's weakened again. Don't hold back. Open fire. This is a no-win situation for you. You have no chance. None. One more set of towers. Keep going. So much for trying to protect. Good job! Wes, you're forcing me to make a terrible choice here. Don't make me kill you. Found him. Can't stop me. In time for me to get shot. His powers are weaker, but they're not gone yet. Keep at it. Let's try this again, dude. He's got that crystal. No! No! This is not over! 
Oh no, he damaged this, the core. No! No, no! Fuck! Come on, wake up. Wake up, don't, don't do this to me, Mom. Please, Mom. Please wake up. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't mean to. It's this thing, Mom. It's the other. I, I did it. It wasn't me. No. Wes, it was. Mom. It was you, but you lost control of it and yourself. Mom, I'm so sorry. I didn't think it would go this far. It's over now, son. It's over. It is over. Vija and Sika are restoring all that was digitized before. Thank you. What happens now to Wesley and... I will join Vija and myself on our journey. Together. We will teach them, help them to grow beyond their destructive natures. In a way, we shall become a family. Very powerful and potently dangerous family. We understand your concerns, but we are not ready to end their lives when the chance to heal them exists. Long ago, the crew of the Enterprise trusted Vija and myself to do the right thing here, above the Earth. We are asking you to do the same now. The worst of the lot, so we'll have to trust you to help them. Help to us. It's time, Mom. I wish it didn't have to end this way, but I think Vijer and Aaliyah are taking Seeker and me to a better place. A new frontier beyond this universe. I've had enough. I think, I think I'm gonna like being an explorer. I think it's something you've always wanted to do, but the cruel reality of the Empire kept you from it. Now's your chance. Make the most of it. And remember that no matter where you are, you have a proud mother that loves you very much. Oh, I love you too, Mom. They forget these Karen. They just want to do an episode of like Wesley gets to merge with. Uh, I'm not a fan of how this is ending. It's been a long day. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to leave this place and find a very strong drink. Ready to beam out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is cool, though. I'm like, we're taking way too many casualties in these old places in the planets.
spell. I'm, I'm not a fan of how that ended. I. It's not what I wanted. It's kind of an unusual choice for a Terran Wesley. I feel like if they were going to go from that, it would have been better to have regular Wesley show up. I mean, dang, you have the actor there. Got Dates McFadden. This would have been a perfect opportunity to have real Wesley and a prime Wesley and prime, what's it called, Rusher show up. And maybe that, they could have connected and shown him what his potential, but for just to get, to get shot and because he hurt his mom, but I don't know. It was Let's keep going. Interesting day. A glorious battle, worthy of song. And then, a flash of light. I thought I was to meet the honored dead in Stovacor. But it was not to be. All the other battles. Ha! There will indeed. Still, if that was the end for me, it would have been a good death to die in battle against a god, defiant to the end, teeth bared, and a warrior's cry filling the air. It would have been glorious! I can't help but wonder what Captain Kirk and the crew of his Enterprise would think of today's events. They had run-ins with cosmic entities in the Terran Empire, too. I think they would have approved of the outcome. I think you're right. A lot has changed since their time, but the Federation remains. It'll be nice to return to the role of explorer again. A role they boldly pursued. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Bill gone, Captain. It is a curious thing what happened at Mars. Digitization. To be in the midst of combat, and then suddenly nothing. It was painless almost peaceful. We experienced nothing in our time away. For us, it seemed like no time had passed at all. Fascinating. After such an event, I look forward to more mundane pursuits. I believe I prefer threats like the Tal Shiar and the Syndicate over mad demigods, don't you? I do believe, Commander. Farewell. For you, this operation is over. But for me, the work's just getting started. Think about it. The Imperial Terran throne is vacant. The mirror universe is going to be a war zone until someone manages to rise above the din and take the crown. I'll be working with Ray Yi to find out who takes the throne and what they plan to do with it once it's theirs. Sounds like you have your work cut out for you. There you are. I wanted to thank you for sparing Wesley's life. Others in your position might not have, especially in the heat of battle, so thank you. Oh, now, welcome. he's off to explore the universe with his new family. I suppose that was the best outcome, but I hope he doesn't forget his original family in the process. Don't believe he will, Doctor. I think you'll see him again. Someday. These last few days are going to make for a very interesting chapter in my memoir. Let me tell ya. I'll be sure my biographer frames you in a good light. Despite you being from, well, <laughs> this <laughs> I'll be sure everyone gets their due. Oh, believe me. You, the Inquisitor, Ilea, even old Painway herself. Hard to say. 
probably back on Voyager fuming over not getting to kill Tilly. Not saying I rubbed it in or anything, but she's a little bit salty about that. <laughs> if I were the Inquisitor, I'd keep my head on a swivel for a while. Suspect she'll get over it in time. This has been an interesting experience, Doppelganger. I'll not soon forget it, or you. Meaning another version of yourself is a singular That's experience mild, feature. Maybe. You earned my respect today, but understand that next time we meet, it will most likely be his enemies. Perhaps one day we'll find out which of us is superior, and which is the reflection. Perhaps we will until then, Inquisitor. Federation. Indeed, the entire Alliance owes you a debt of gratitude today. Thank you for your service. You're welcome, Admiral. I'll let you get back to it. I knew it. So, how does the crown look? Too much? Or not enough? You wear it well. I hope you didn't bring me here to talk about fashion. Oh, no, no. You and I have much more important things to discuss. Then let's get to work, Empress. I'm only the four cube. No way that's going to go south. Huh. I wonder if we'll get that or if that's just something to tease us with how they end it. <sighs> All right. Now, good favor of the elements. The operation became an error. The merge. Well, sparing his life might not be popular. It's the correct decision. All right, that is everything for this episode. We have a tornado warning in the area that just popped up, so I'm going to turn this off just in case. Uh, thank you for everybody who watching i do appreciate it and so i will go ahead and maybe do something on one of the other what do they call them operations whatever that are themed the jupiter icarus we'll see all right well thank you everybody for watching i do appreciate it and you'll have a good one